an officer privy to the matter who spoke in confidence as he was not authorized to speak to the media said the officers involved in the assault embarked on a cover-up plan after realizing that they'd assaulted a senior police officer remember ile time alikuwa na mchapa hakuwa na ni senior police officer so jana mi ie na rapture kuna vile tulifanya video fulani tulita the DJ Jom Falme murder case na hii video uh, ilikuwa na a lot of reactions and um, some of the reactions zilikuwa za wase wanasema kuwa mi na uh, tulikuwa biased as the icon in the team kuna msana itua Bill James 1216 alisema wewe toa emotions kwa mambo na kesi the fact unamjua haimanishi hakufanya ongea kama vile uliongea kuhusu uh, Joey Irungu mwafue acha so eh kuna msali aliandika hivyo na lazima nibaki nimesit disclaimer um sisi kama iko nini we never hate in quotes people for the sake of it because it's cool najua like um i think you ndio kitu watu wana get maybe twisted na podcast like for you to be a true podcast lazima uchukie wase lazima ugo out of your way kwa bla 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 zi so try kuangaliaga kitu na kuanalyze na own way so kama uliochio video ulicheki vile uh, rapture alikuwa anabonga juu like the justice system in Kenya ile kitu inaweza happen woko kwa gari alafu baki umejipata kwa noma but sasa of course after kusema hivyo like one of the reasons we stuck with the video was because we felt like we analyzed the whole situation with a very open mind so kumbuka e video yetu ilitokea like around saa 3 usiku on saturday night and then nation pia waka release the article much later and this is the newspaper article ya nation so in newspaper article ya nation i hope it onyesha wasiki leo tunasemaga it's not about a uh, group thinking it's about independent thinking so kuna hiyo article imeandikwa kenya dj in trouble over death of top dci detective then article yenyewe ni by nyaboga kiage na dumbi moturi Alafu imeandikwa a top Kenyan DJ and three police officers are persons of interest in the suspected murder of a senior detective attached to the DCI. So let's check it. Then he can tell the detective Felix Kitosi is said to have died in mysterious circumstances in Kikuyu, Kiambu County on Thursday. The three officers were arrested following the death of the DCI officer who was attached to the Dagoreti sub-county DCI. So This is one of the things ukienda kwa hizi comments tunawasana tuambia zizi zi, zi. kuna vile um, nini bouncers wake walikuwa arrested ah yeah, nyinyi sijua mjui ma bouncers wake ndio wali walimchapa bouncer wake photographer wake driver wake eh, eh, eh. misa hiyo of course sisi kama iko nini tuko tunaangalia what nation because nation goes out out there to look for news sisi we don't sisi we just analyze what we've seen so we'll go with what nation has said more than what we think ama more than what's being said on social media so tukiendelea na hii article ya nation inasemekana uh, inasema a detective privy to the ongoing investigations told the nation that the three officers two men and a woman attached to the traffic department were arrested following the death of the officer they were taken to Riruta police station they were arrested on saturday by dci detectives and taken to Riruta police station someone is quoted saying that they expected to be arraigned in court on monday said the officer who spoke on condition of an no anonymity as he was not authorized to speak to the media you understand in case is sensitive uh, of course uh, uh, like police officers are involved you don't want to be the guy who's out there telling like his own stories to kendelea another the same article but how did it all start on one hand according to a police report kitosi died after being assaulted following a traffic accident The report does not mention names nor the circumstances of the assault. Lakini ilikuwa reported that the 22nd of March 2024 at around 1600 hours but one Reinhard Kitosi, the brother of the deceased, ali patia na pia namba the officer and it was Felix Kellyan Kitosi of DCI Dagoreti had passed while undergoing treatment at Nairobi West Hospital. Uh, so the deceased had been involved in a non-injury traffic accident within the Kikuyu market near Kikuyu police station on Saturday at 4 a.m. He had earlier complained of abdominal abdominal pains and was on treatment. Preliminary investigations revealed that he was assaulted by known persons after an altercation over the non-injury traffic accident, the police report said. So, 
this is where now it starts getting interesting because uh unacheki ni non injury but this non injury ends up uh leading to a death so hii story yote inaweza kuwa ina come aje so ukiendelea na hiku nini article ya nation imeandikwa questions differing accounts the arrest of those linked to kitosis death raises questions as to why the police waited six days until the officer's death before taking action against the four so kikumbuka ile video si tulifanya na kina rapture tulibonga juu the fact that uh, John Falme was still uh, performing he was still DJ and uh, alikuwa anaendelea na his business just as usual kabisa his demeanor had not changed in any way kuonyesha like this was someone who was afraid that he might be involved in a murder case so tukiendelea the nation could not immediately ascertain the names of the arrested officers but the family has a different story about the circumstances of their relative's death they say that the that kitosi was attacked at a nightclub so na cheki story inaanza ku change kumbuka mbeleni tuko najua alikuwa arrested kwa barabara sasa hizi nasemekana he was arrested at a nightclub alafu inaendelea on saturday the entertainer and his team were performing at a busy club on thika road when they were picked up at night by police officers oh so he sasa ni a uh, vile nani alikuwa arrested uh, on this other past saturday sijui place alikuwa na ana nini alafu kitosi's family said that on saturday night ile sasa to ingine, the dj had reportedly finished his set at a popular club in kikuyu kiambu county and he was leaving the club at 4:20 am when an altercation between his team and the senior police officer broke out sikia his team then kiendelea according to the family the altercation erupted after the late kitosi scratched a car belonging to the dj as he was leaving the car park then here it gets interesting you see kama kenya this is the ile kitu happening in sisi kama wa kenya like when someone rises very high we always want them to come down we always want to pull them down so Uh, tuna bringing emotions into a lot of stuff that we should not bring our emotions into that's why utaona kuna msiki kwa comments uko pale mwafu naleta ga emotions me i'm passionate about a, a lot of stuff and one of the things that i'm very emotional about is independent thinking i hate when someone tells me nani alisema hivi nani alisema this is the reason why nani usema hivi juu yako yani unashaga you have zero independent thought think for yourself so to endelena it article the bouncers then confronted the police officer pulled him out of the car and assaulted him with kicks and punches kitosi's relatives claim the bouncers acheki garia dj john falme ikiwa scratched ma bouncer wa club wamwe kuchapa msema scratch hiyo how does him as a dj come into it ngole mkisema like this makes no sense ile time ni kwa nafikiri it's makarao walichapa huo mse Mtoto tafikia makarao tayari ni kwa shato wa John Falme kwa hiyo cuz don't forget this is a very successful person successful people who are they always know they have a lot to lose so it's very hard for them to do stupid mistakes so this is a very stupid mistake this is something tragic that happened rest in peace to officer Felix Kitosi but this was done by bouncers who are always very very eager to get into fights kama sikiza iko nini long enough ushasikia gele story mupatie na gastori ya vile uh, tulikuwa gana best eight alikuwa anaenda kuinua chuma and with that he used to look for fights and this same thing happens not with all bouncers but kuna mabouncer wale just cause wameunga unaonaga ni poa waende wakipiga hasi so acha kipale ilianzia so hii vita ilianza na bouncers kumbuka ni gari ya umse ndio imekuwa scratch but this guy i think he makes like ukiangalia vile iko books gari ku scratch hiyo would make him want to beat someone to death critical thinking so to endelena article they claim the officer was later taken to kikuyu police station where he was assaulted by police officers while in custody umesikia place yote hapa dj john falme was seen stomping was seen kicking him was seen to endele his health deteriorated and he was rushed to langata hospital before being transferred to nairobi west hospital where he died last thursday The management of the club told the nation that the incident never took place at their premises and they were not even aware that it had happened. So management pia imejitoa kwa noma. I can assure you that the incident never took place wa mkuu quoted. Lakini the family now wonders why the bouncers of the club whom they claimed first assaulted 
the deceased before handing him over to the police officers have not been arrested or questioned. Hajauliza jua John Falme to be arrested or questioned. They've asked for the family. I know for the bouncers of the club. Na cheki so tunaendelea. So this hii ni kitu tunataka kuonyesha wasi like this is a corner and this is something that we we take pride in. We take pride in the fact that we judge people with the best lenses. Just cause to judge Joey harshly does not mean Joey to judge harshly because of what we could read like the articles we were seeing the evidence to li kachini tuka watch the court case like if you watched our nini utasikia mimi na Ian tukikwambia tulikachini tuka watch tuka watch dio like the verdict tunashindwa hiyo kunendaje and then we made a video about it we reacted to that and uh, also later in the day look out for a video ya Tainga Shira he's a lawyer and a comedian and he broke broke it down now from a lawyer's perspective and that's for Joey Rungu let's come back to um of course history ya DJ John Falme na pia ule the officer Felix Kitosi because you know at the end of the day you want justice and you don't want the wrong people to go to jail you want the right people that's why na cheki like uki cheki Kitosi's family they talked about the bouncers first and then they talked about the cops let's continue on saturday his family camped out uh, on a new funeral home hapo uh, kuna vile walibaki wamekata like the post mortem alafu uh, tuendelee uh, tu, wacha tuendelee wacha turuke kitu kidogo hapa tuendelee um, that uh, okay investigations by the nation revealed that the officers who took him to the station did not record the matter and the family said they continued to assault their relatives when they questioned him about the incidents uh, accident he allegedly caused so check it so au karawa alikuwa na chapana tu at this point he asked for drinking water and told them he was dying they all denied it until he went for a quick call and they saw him passing blood in his urine a relative said the relative claimed kitosi was then released on saturday from police station and decided to seek medical attention as he was badly injured and writhing in pain so one of the things lazima uh, and rest in peace to uh, detective uh, kitosi you have to see like from what i can read from this guy this is someone who was most probably very humble cuz try to imagine all these people beating him and they still don't know he's a cop ajiki ajuni karao and kuna vile nimesema like if we are to start with the bouncers the bouncers of course will beat you up cuz they have bigger muscles nini some bouncers not all my bouncer kawe ni bouncer na fano iko na hiyo sijao na mimi ndio nimesema hivyo but some of your colleagues have that like most of us wanza kuambia tumeenda ga places kuna time nilienda ga place kuna itwa nini kwa q something alafu uh, age ilikuwa inafaa 25 and below supposed to be 25 and above 25 and above and by that time i think i was around 30 and i went there i had not carried my id na kambi mse buda john niko over 30 sasa ni buda toka hapa man takuchapa na hatu waka we wacheki so that's my experience tushapatia na hapa iko nini story ya polo sawa get radio ended up beating some bouncers and uh mabanza kaenda kuchukua p3 that's a very interesting story you should have had but now let's come back to story ya uh, kitosi cuz let's not forget with all this to not try to get justice for dci kitosi so according to a hospital report seen by the nation kitosi was admitted to nairobi west hospital with severe abdominal pain from the alleged assault na alikuwa unable to urinate for about four hours So after he waka insert tube kwa urethra yake ya kumsaidia urine pass. The report goes on to say that on Thursday Kitosi's condition deteriorated and the medics efforts to resuscitate him failed. Remember he was beaten on a Friday turning to Saturday morning. Alafu um, after kuchapwa like they took so much time kwa ile time yote naambia naenda ku dead so of course his condition deteriorated so by the time alikuwa anapelekwa hosi uh, like maybe five days later kadedi alafu uh indio place in a get interesting and this is why na kwambia that this is ikonene ikonene we try to be as fair as possible we don't hate anyone out of scared kiko mjole msa kwende jo tunamchukia for no reason tunamchukia jo anafanya ga hivi ama anafanya hivi na si atufanyagi yeah ni bullshit everyone has one life na unafaa kuishi maisha yako vile unataka kuishi hakuna mtu ana script ya hii maisha na the fact wewe unafikiria kuna watu wako na script ya hii maisha ndio inakupoteza wacha to go back to hapa jo hapa sasa hizi mimi ndakwambia mimi nikaitumbi jo system ya facts wacha tuendelee na the article so 
an officer privy to the matter who spoke in confidence as he was not authorized to speak to the media said the officers involved in the assault embarked on a cover-up plan after realizing that they'd assaulted a senior police officer remember ile time alikuwa na mchapa hakuwa anajua ni senior police officer si ndio and then uh, a fellow detective from Kabete police station who visited him in custody told the police officers that he was a senior inspector. When they realized that the officer's health, now they've quoted Ule Karao. Ule Karao. So Karao alisema, when they realized that the officer's health was deteriorating in a hospital, a plan was hatched to cover up the whole matter and blame the DJ and his team, the officer said. Watch your video to lifanya mimi rapture na Ian in what situation have you ever seen civilians join cops in beating up someone so the fact that John Falme alikuwa arrested na three officers was not making any sense so you don't get your stories are bouncers so there are bouncers that had beaten up this guy cuz you have to look at even ukiangalia who Felix Kitosi if you look at him you can see already he's someone he looks much bigger than John Palmer. Why did John Palmer try to fight him? Alafu, your, your story are like um, when you have something to lose, normally it takes it takes like a certain level to risk everything, especially for most of us who've come from poverty. Like tunajua what poverty is, like hatutakagi hiyo ku risk kila kitu. And kuna masaya tunasema wewe buda wewe si real, wewe si nini? Lakini zi, nilo natumia common sense yako. So um I think ilikuwa gani nini? Ilikuwa ni ni 50 cent. I think anaweza bonga pa juu ya 50 cent. 50 cent ni msame jaza ma muscles. Na ilikuwa na bonga juu ile story ya ni losers are always ready to fight. Kitu kama hiyo. I don't know. Kitu kama eh ready to fight. So um uh um say alikuwa na everything to lose. So this that's why this story was not making sense to me. Uh, I don't sijapata hiyo hiyo story ya nani. Yeah, yeah, 50 cents. So let me go back to the article. Um, I love so quite the article on a check your, your story. Uh, according to our police officers, officers kept the DJ's team informed of ketosis condition for six days. Of course, you are concerned. Like, I'll be concerned as a decent human being. I'll be concerned. And then on Thursday evening, hours after the officer's death, a police report was uh, released to Dagoretti sub counting informing him of the officer's death. In the report, the police stated that he was indeed involved in an accident in which he was assaulted. The report was filed by Reinhard, the deceased officer's brother. So, na chiki. So, a few things happened here that should have happened. The bouncers, if a car is scratched, it has nothing to do with you. Get the people who are Gary me scratch you and let them deal with the situation. Don't beat up someone. You already have muscles. Like, there's a reason why boxing were gonna classes. Like, there's heavyweight and there is lightweight like wewe saa hizi ukipanchiwa na what's his name like if you are punched and you are a normal person and you are punched by um Mike Tyson ama Anthony Joshua ama Nganu you won't survive these bouncers try to imagine a lot of them are hiyo wako hiyo ni wasio big ni wasio wangekuwa na fight boxing wangekuwa heavyweight they decide to beat up this person and then Makarao, on top of that, because by the time we pigwa, of course you're going to be angry. So maybe by the time the Makarao na come, he's going to be pissed. Like this is a small issue. Most probably he's intoxicated. So he's not communicating in any. They continue to beat him up. He's there telling them, I'm dying. And then they don't care. And then this whole thing happens. So this whole thing could have been avoided. But I I and if video nimefanya jua vitu mbili of course bado tunasema uh, pole sana kwa familia ya Felix Kitosi uh, na rest in peace kwa Felix Kitosi looks like a, a, a cool dude and uh, pia ni kwa nataka tu kuifanya tu ile kuonyesha say that people will be like iko nini is biased iko nini no 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 we are not biased i think the only thing that people maybe might not uh, like about CC will give you a different opinion are we we don't just go with an opinion because it's a popular opinion ile like let's bash him um, say kochini wacha tufurahie let him go down waso shanza ku post mpaka zile ma, ma, ma jokes na nia shame make jia jela um we don't do that we we try to look at things like with 
uh, those independent eyes. And then after, we give you an opinion. And the opinion, you might like it, you might not like it. But surely it's going on any. So that's all we are trying to do. But it would, an opinion that we feel is our opinion. See, mtu may influence his story. By the time tukotuna, tunabonga jua, nini di, jua mfalme, atuko tunajua hii article, yana nita tokea. Na ime tu vindicate. Ime onyesha jua eka onene. Su bongaga, ile design ya itumbi, system ya facts. Tunangalia kitu, unashindwa. Mse yuko booked. Mse yuko na radio job. Yes? Apart from a radio job, he's booked like uh, five days a week. Why would such a person risk it all? Who seems to book you on a 10k per night? So, if you had to look at crunch the numbers, this is someone who makes some really good money every month. If his car is scratched, how is he afford? He can afford. His level of anger, if his car is scratched, is going to be lower than. I also don't forget another thing about Kenya is if you walk around, you'll see a lot of cars with scratches. Apart from you, apart from cars with scratches, you'll see a lot of cars that even ile rangi hai shine vile kwa na shine before like ile time some enda kama June ndio mtu notice vile gari u shine like gari zina shine giu huko sio shaka jo gari na na nini maji ya vyombo jo na cheki like atakuwa gi serious so with that in mind i don't think kenyans get that angry jia paint compared to maybe other countries so that's why e story i kwa nini make sense and that's why even before we had all these facts we looked at it and we were like nah this guy had too much to lose this guy, uh, this situation does just doesn't make a lot of sense. But now, of course, um, uh, they're trying to cover up. So Zuri plays hopes za Jomfal Meziko and the fact that at the end of the day, the DCI will have to look at the case that they're taking before. And the case would be stronger with bouncers and police officers than Ye. Yes, him, he brings the case. He keeps it in the news cycle but it just didn't, didn't, didn't make sense like when him say me deal now leave you ngapi na jai kwa na altercation na check so so yeah so that was just a, a quick update here yeah, ile kuonyesha wase jo like usiseme hapa sijui tuko emotional la wewe mwenyewe sasa hiyo ndio uko emotional kwa comments jo tumesema kitu ile huko na i expect to seme um Eh, una check so kuna wasali kwa nasema ati si believe ah sengine juni makara why not but like personally ni kitu nishasema hapa like makara wa Kenya ndio wamefanya Nairobi ni safe like they had to use the wrong method but they made Nairobi safe like back in the days early 90s Nairobi used to be super unsafe and because of the Kenyan cops doing things the Kenyan way they ended up um like making Nairobi much safer. Like, yes, do we still have these robbing incidences and what and what? Yes, they're still there, but they made Nairobi safer. You can walk in a lot of places even during the day, and that's because of the Kenya police. So you always give the Kenya police credit for what they've done. With this specific case, we were not targeting the Kenya police. We were target our Makarao specific that were involved in beating him up. I love now because of this news, we're talking about these specific bouncers. So you can't go there and arrest a bouncer who was off that day. Ama if they have five bouncers and two are beating him up, you can't arrest these other three. So everything has to be like every individual deal na consequences. Zake. But PRCC kama wa Kenya, let's stop this attitude of wishing that people go down and then it makes us like feel somehow morally superior and whatever so that's basically it um kuna msani to adla 254 alikuwa ameandika kuna misleading information hapa watu wamekuwa arrested ni bouncer na crew ya John Falme si makarao you see uh, so buda umechekiwa article nimesoma sisi tulikuwa tunabonga about this story based on the article we'd watched uh we'd seen and this was based on uh, the nation uh, newspaper thing so kuna msana ito Ashley Miguel alikuwa the DJ was busy condemning Babu Owino who didn't even shoot his victim four years later uh, go check nini uh, never judge blah 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 uh uni msali kwa mpenda sana kujoke kuja story za, za, za jela uh, pia mimi ni kitu joke around uh, jao sana Th- that does not mean we don't know that innocent people end up in jail we know that we know that but it's just one of those things where sometimes the case is nini. Then kuna Nicholas Ngumbao kwa sema four people arrested, his photographer, driver, bodyguards. Not sure someone to clarify if this is true. Yalikuwa nauliza. 
um, uh, so kuna Kenas 88 83 kwa sababu mwaf unatetea jo because it involves a police officer yes, this is the guy was talking about stop being biased alafu kuna Cyrus Simiu the most biased observation ever Rotiki. so i say uh, 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 i hope your apologies will be as loud as your disrespect moses waswa propaganda at its best what if he's guilty kuna evidence yenye had jui when you oppose mwaf's opinion this dude can run for an hour I'm a because it's a police officer let's not jump to conclusion we will know in the coming we are more in this coming week so Moses Waswa as i said i rant i rant about people who don't have independent thought i i i don't mind the fact that you have a different opinion from me that's that's what i love about Ikonini. we we entertain different opinions we don't have life figured out no one has life figured out so uh, Moses Waswa I hope um, the article the article has vindicated me it's vindicated rapture and it's vindicated ian it's not about biasness sometimes it's about just critical thinking how much does someone have to lose and a lot of people like walena wa kenya like we've come we've reached the levels we've reached and these levels have helped whole families i don't know about uh John Falme's family but i remember nikiona John Falme the one that i used to see akianza na wauwa saa hizi i think this is a rich version i don't think hange risk hivi that's why it did make sense to me and the article ya nation pia inaonyesha kuna kara wanasema there's a cover up ile na try kufanywa na makara wengine kwa wale makara walikuwa hapo ukara wengine akichapwa of course now they they are afraid they are like damn alafu wame mess na DCI and DCI tushaskia nikiwa sifu hapa kwa hiyo kwa nini like Kenya and DCI some of the best you come to investigative whatever so yeah. so yeah that was just uh, a quick update on history ya uh, uh, DJ John Falme if any other news comes up of course tutabaki to 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 make channel you get talk about here like our opinion on it but so far neza sema tumekuwa at least vindicated ama at least imeonyesha that our analysis was not just uh, coming out of at a uh, hate for the police ama hate for what it was just based on critical analysis yes and apa ikonene tunapenda critical analysis tunapenda critical thinking na tunapenda individual thinking ikonene